So my name is Samuel, um, I'm 33, I'm from Hawley in London and um, yeah, I'm here and I've had, uh, I've had top surgery with uh, Dr Herrero. The IM clinic came up as one of the top five sort of reconstructive plastic surgery um, gender re reassignment places in the world. Uh, that really got my attention and then I looked at the building, I looked at the area and I was, I was blown away by just how incredible the facilities were and how incredible the, the building was. Um, the place is clean, it's beautiful, it just, you, you turn up and you feel like you're in a five-star hotel with incredible staff. The reviews were five-star across the board and as I looked at all of the, um, all of the surgeries before and after, I was happy if, if any of those surgeries were mine. My feeling with Dr. Herrero was instantly I was put at ease. Um, my wife's quite nervous, I'm quite a nervous patient, and he just put me at ease really. I didn't, I didn't feel anxious afterwards. He was just a really knowledgeable, really talented surgeon. And for me, I instantly knew he was going to be the person that I would feel really comfortable putting you know, my body and the rest of my life and the happiness that I'm going to feel from it uh, in his hands because this is such a big step because this is something that for the rest of my life. I would say do your research, um, look at the videos, look at the videos from people like myself um, and other people from um, the UK, Spain um, that have had surgeries here. I would say speak to Ada, you know you you don't lose anything um, and you don't have to commit to anything by getting in contact. Again, you know, you can have a consultation with a top surgeon and again, it's, it's free and it's okay if you want to go slower, it's okay if you want to go faster. You know, your journey is, is your journey. We're all different, you know, you're different from me, I am different from my wife, I'm different from my dad, you know, we're all different people and we all live different lives, but we all try and live our lives authentically. And I think that's the message, you know, we're just trying to be authentic and true and happy.